Tropical Storm Isaias gains strength as it heads for the Carolinas to view the full article, click the first link in the description below. Not so long ago, politicians vying for office larded their speeches and debates with promises to better the lives of constituents touting better jobs, lower taxes and the chance for hard-working Americans to get ahead. How decriminalizing sex work fits the bill is a mystery, but that idea is supported by both U.S. Senator Edward Markey and U.S. Rep. Joseph Kennedy III, both running for Markey's seat. They virtually squared off in a forum Tuesday, filled with nods to issues near and dear to the hearts of progressive activists, but of questionable value to the ordinary citizens of Massachusetts. Markey and Kennedy back the decriminalization of sex work on a state and federal level. While some advocates assert that this will put a damper on sex trafficking, a Harvard Law School study had a different finding, countries with legalized prostitution are associated with higher human trafficking inflows than countries where prostitution is prohibited. The scale effect of legalizing prostitution, i.e., expansion of the market, outweighs the substitution effect, where legal sex workers are favored over illegal workers. On average, countries with legalized prostitution report a greater incidence of human trafficking inflows. How will this help Massachusetts residents? These days, particularly among the left-leaning set, it's all about progressive one-upsmanship and ticking the boxes on virtue signaling talking points. Tuesday's forum included mea culpas by both candidates for working for, or supporting, any form of law enforcement efforts in their respective pasts. In this climate, that's a blot on the escutcheon, and Markey backpedaled voting for the 1994 crime bill while Kennedy called his work as a prosecutor in the Cape and Islands District Attorney's Office and having Suffolk County Sheriff Steve Tompkins as a campaign advisor as things to reconcile. It's one thing to look back on one's actions, find them wanting, and own up not so long ago. Politicians vying for office larded their speeches and debates with promises to better the lives of constituents touting better jobs, lower taxes and the chance for hard-working Americans to get ahead how decriminalizing sex work fits the bill is a mystery, but that idea is supported by both Udo view the full article, click the first link in the description below.